Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on our YouTube account and we are looking at the shop refreshes or as it is now guys, the new goods. They've actually went through, renamed a bunch of this. Um, if you haven't noticed, there are a few changes. So we're gonna check out the new goods. Now this is the shop refreshes. That's originally what it was called. Now for the first two times you can reset the store um, within the store, the guild store and the challenger store. Why they do the challenger store, I do not know. I wish they did the labyrinth store or something else but you can do the refresh and I'm going to show you how to kind of power level which is the reason why we've done this if you're a older player or have been playing AFK Arena you know exactly what we're going to talk about if you are new to AFK Arena guys stick around because this is a really really good way to power level um, your accounts if you're starting to make progression so overall guys when you look at the shops we're going to go through all the shops I'm going to show you exactly what I'm buying the logic behind what I'm buying also, how to use these shop refreshes to your advantage. So looking at an average player, guys, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pick up the elemental shards because they utilize gold. Exact same with the hero essence, it is gold. Within the poke coins, it is gold. Those are three things you are gonna buy out every single day, regardless of what you do. Now, the first thing that you're gonna pick up with diamonds is this time emblem. Now, a lot of players are kind of on the fence if it's worth spending the 500 diamonds to get the time emblems. If you ever want an opportunity to build out Awakened Hero, especially if you are free to play, guys, this is the only place that you're going to be able to pick up this card and pick it up consistently. Now, the next one that I look at from the power leveling aspect is this large Hero's Essence chest. I do buy this out every day and I do buy this out multiple times when we go ahead and we do our refresh. Now, again, I do not buy the cores. I do not buy the baits. There are some players that do buy them. Overall, I think for the cost of diamonds, I really need to regulate how many diamonds I'm spending in addition to how many I'm spending on the Stargazer. Now with just the first store, guys, now we get our free refreshes. Normally, this would cost diamonds to do during the event. It is free, which is a really good time, guys. Go ahead and reset this. Boom, it resets everything. We are doing the same. We are picking up the shards. We are picking up the essence. We are picking up the poke coins. And then because this is already sold out, you can only have one of one, we are picking up the large crate of Hero Essence. Now, if you're not looking to power level the Resonating Crystal or not looking to um, actually make progression within the towers in the campaign, do not buy this, guys, if you are free to play. Again, kind of on the fence with this because you're utilizing a lot of diamonds that you could use for those Celestials and Hypogen heroes out of the Stargazer or to continue building out those Awakened heroes. Now we get this twice. Remember, this is twice every day, guys. We're gonna go ahead and refresh this. And again, we're gonna go in with our gold. We're doing the elemental shards. I am picking up the hero essence. I am picking up the poke coins, as well as a third large hero's chest. This is 900 we spent on the chest. Couple that in right there. We're at 1400 that we spent in the shop. And it's good because we don't have to pay for the refreshes. Now, during this event, do not refresh again, guys. You can see it actually costs diamonds but you will not get the essence. That is the reason why I stop at two. I will do usually one refresh every single day within the store itself. Now going over to the dream store, you can see guys in here, there are really, if you can do all of the events in the dream store, um, the three things you wanna buy out are the time emblems, the stargazer cards, which you see right here, and then one of the celestials or hypogen heroes, if you do not have them built. You can see right here guys, I built out Frampton. If you are a newer player to AFK Arena, guys, the twins will be the absolute biggest priority to build. And this gives you a free time to build them. I, I love that they added them in here with the heroes being such vital, um, such a vital hero to AFK Arena. You can spend your time, you can build them here all the way to Ascended as you continue through the Nightmare Corridor and having the ability to build them out of here. Now, what that means is in the tier list, they are one of the biggest priorities, but you can slowly build them out of here like we see with our Challenger store. Um, you can really just slowly build them out of here, which again is a really, really cool, um, big priority when you get in there. Now, looking at our Guild store, Guild store, you do want to buy out the um, time emblems you see right up here, as well as these tier four stones. Now, the rest of it, you really want to focus on the dimensional gear. You can see right down here now at this point, guys, within the guild store, if you do not have Rem and Amelia already purchased, you're going to be saving your resources to actually pick up those heroes. But right now I am looking for a caster dimensional for Amelia 
and I'm looking for a caster chest for REM. Those are the only two pieces that I need. So as you can see, they are right down here. Now, a lot of players also do question with the dimensional gear, where do you get it? It is right here, guys. This is literally the only place in the AFK arena that you can get the faction dimensional gear, which gives you a 30% stat boost increase um, based on the gear, which is huge. Now, since I don't have a piece that I need, I'm gonna do the refresh in here. Fingers crossed we can pick up a piece. There is the weapon. I do not need that. I already have it for REM. I need the two chest pieces. One more reset in here. I'm hoping through this event we can get it. We have boots in here. We do not have a chest piece. So again, we're not gonna spend anything to reset in here. We are gonna wait till tomorrow. Now looking at the barracks, um, you wanna build out and buy these stones. Reason being, these could be Celestials and Hypogen heroes, which of course, let's say you pull one copy of the twins, you pull one copy of a hero you're looking to build, that is gonna save you roughly 50 to 65 Stargazer cards, or roughly what's that, 30,000 plus diamonds to actually get those pulls out of there. Big, big reason you wanna get those stones, guys. Now, once you start getting a lot of heroes built out like I do, um, you can also power level your Elder Tree right here on the bottom. When you get to the point of recycling heroes, this is actually what you wanna focus on, is building out a lot of those, because again, Celestials and Hypogen heroes, a majority of them. All right, guys, so I hopped on another account with the Labyrinth Store, so I can kind of show you who we do have in here. Um, so in here, we do have Joan, we have Baba Yaga, we also do have Arthur, we have Wukong. Looking at this, again, this is an earlier account, you want to prioritize and you want to build out of the Labyrinth Store none of the four primary faction heroes, but the first one you want to build is, of course, Joan of Arc, guys. Joan of Arc still seeing a absolute incredible amount of utility through AFK Arena. Um, she is the one you want to build. And then a lot of players kind of on the fence. Arthur sees a little bit of play. Um, Baba Yaga, unfortunately, does not see too much, honestly. Joan is, is the big, big priority out of this store. As you progress a little bit further, once you have Joan built, these will actually turn into emblems. You can go ahead and build out the rest of the heroes over time. But overall, guys, Joan is the biggest priority when it comes out of Labyrinth Store. Once you have Joan, I would probably pick up Baba Yaga just for utility-wise um, if she is a hero you're going to use in the future. Then we swap over to the Challenger Store again. I don't know why they reset this. It's kind of crazy. But looking in the Challenger Store, you can see we have a couple dimensional heroes here. We also have a few Celestials and Hypogens, which are, which are right at the top. Number one priority out of here, guys, is still Merlin. Merlin, again, a lot of utility within AFK Arena. I would probably follow Merlin with Leonardo. Um, some players do follow Merlin with Mulan, but overall, guys, I would build Leonardo just for the simple fact that we have Leonardo um, that is still being utilized in quite a few formations, including campaign formations. If you're more PvP focused, you could build on Mulan. Then once you have these um, dimensional heroes done, because the big thing to remember, guys, is with the dimensional heroes specifically, you only need to get them built. So essentially, it is gonna be, what, a million tokens and you'll have the hero. And then you do have the hero forever. You do possess the hero. But after that, looking up here, guys, at our regular Celestials and Hypogens, Zolrath is gonna be the one that you wanna build, guys. Fundamentally, still used in a lot of content in AFK Arena. The original version of Aziz is still seeing a little play as well, but overall, Zolrath, again, still sees a lot of utility in a couple different game modes. Um, Athelia, unfortunately, dropping out quite a bit. Same with um, um, Orthos. Orthos, again, to build him as a newer player, I probably wouldn't build him at all. Um, maybe over time, as we continue to farm um, our challenger tokens within the challenge store, again, you're going to be saving a lot of these tokens with um, with Rem and Amelia, so you're going to be burning through a lot of these tokens. But again, Merlin, then I would go Leonardo, then I would go Mulan, and then focus on the Celestials and the Hypogen heroes that we have here. And again, the refresh, I don't understand the logic behind the refresh, because, I mean, short of, I believe you can buy one of these, then maybe refresh, but you can't buy more than two because you are capped with the Challenger tokens. Um, I believe 500,000 is still the cap up here. So if you do a third refresh or even over the next couple days, doesn't even make a difference, guys, because you can't buy anything else in here. And do not, by any means, buy any of the regular faction heroes, guys. It is not worth it in the long term. 
So all right guys, so that'll do it for today's video. I hope I shed a little bit of light and insight into the shop refreshes or the store refreshes. Um, it does make a big difference when it comes to this very first store. Um, because of those refreshes, guys, you can get a lot of good gear in here um, when it comes also to the guild store. But again, guys, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.